Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com. I'm your host Michael Langdon. At LearningEngineer.com we engineer learning for efficiency. Today is part two of Sharp Develop and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to add custom controls to your custom control panel over here. So to begin today I'm going to start with a new solution and I'm going to pick a Windows application I'm going to pick Windows application and I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to type in controls as the name of my project and I'm going to have it create a directory for my sources and then I'm going to click create okay so here we have our form and this is all of the code for our form okay and if we click on design we'll see we have a design for our form a form design okay and I'm just gonna stretch this out to be a little larger than this there we go and let's see uh, we should have cons there we go so we don't our one components is not there but we'll bring it up and so the first thing we want to do is come to our tools menu and click on our component inspector Okay, and then we want to click on ActiveX.com and you can see I already have a bunch of them loaded into my frequently or recently accessed type libraries and so what I want to do is click on my type library here and you can see there's all kinds of type libraries some of them work some of them don't so for example if I were to grab the Acrobat control for ActiveX that one would probably work uh, Adobe Acrobat usually does have a, a, a controller that you can use along with QuickTime would have a controller. What, whether or not these other ones would is hard to say. You'd have to try them out. So today we're just going to go down to the Flash, Shockwave Flash controllers. And normally you would think that this would be the Shockwave X of X control, but it's not. It's actually the Shockwave Flash control here and you can see it's been placed up here okay so I can close that and close that well I can just come back to the main form here and then what we want to do is we want to come over here to our tools menu and come down to where it says configure sidebar okay and so we'll just move the sidebar up to here and what you can see is that we have three here windows forms data and components and you can place new controls into any one of these that you want. So I'm going to go to my Windows form and I think I'm going to add it to this one. So then I would click on Add Components and then the Custom tab and then we would click on this. And these are all of the converted ones that I have, I have here. Okay. And so one of the things I can do is I can quick show you where this is if, in case it doesn't come back up to it. C drive, documents and settings, instructor, application data, component inspector, and converted. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you there's these A-axes and generally these are the ones that you want. And I'll show you the difference. Here we're going to go with shockwave flash objects and then if I click show components you can see what happens. It doesn't contain any components. So that's if it's not right it'll show you that so this is probably the one that I want and I'm gonna click open and then I'm gonna click show component and there it shows me the component so I'm gonna click OK and you can see that it then shows up down here so I'm gonna click OK again and then if I come to Windows form we're gonna click on that and then we're gonna draw this out again Okay, now we come over to here, our AX Shockwave Flash. So we want to just come down here and what we're looking for is where we would enter. So there's movie. And I'm just seeing where it would show up. That was probably right there. So I'm going to click there. I'm going to go F and then slide show dot SWF hit enter and you can see it shows up so that's it 
and then now if we click save and we click play In fact, you can see two of them are running at the same time. And that's, so that's that. And then what I can do is I can click Well, I would like this to stop, but it looks like it's not going to stop. There should be an auto play. You can see you can also embed the movie. Um, there's also a couple other things in here that I will go over with you. Um, so, anyways, that's going to play. And if you wanted to, we could add controls to this. But what I want you to do quick is show you where this file ends up. So we're going to go to My Documents. And you can see in here you actually have a folder called Sharp Develop Projects. So we double click on that. And this is the demo program. Demo program. Click on Bin and Debug. And there it is the executable plus all of the Shockwave Flash project all of the um, ActiveX controls and other controls that I need for this program as well. So, and that's it for today. Uh, next time we'll actually go in and try making a more complete program.